welcome to the new channel. Uh, hopefully things will look better the more we go along. We have a unboxing video to start with from my new friend at Bailey's Reptiles. We, we traded some snakes for some spiders. And uh, kind of painful. I got to admit that the snakes were pets because I'm really more of a spider person than a snake person. Let's see how we did. We got a lot of bubble wrap here. Looks pretty good so far. And as we get down, we can see very nice looking. Very nice. We've got the bubble wrap. And we've got some, uh, oh, spoiler alert. You see we got uh, Pamphibidius flammifera and in this one we have super worms just kidding so Brachypelmo bomi this is supposed to be a adult female and this one we have Dominican purple for Mypticus species Dominican purple and over here should be a Selmopsius reduncus and if see we can see here it looks to be, and there it is, it's pretty good size, not bad, not bad. And in a container that if we wanted to, we could leave it in, but we'll probably rehouse it in something a little larger. And this one, oh, Love of Loves. I think it's, that's right. We have the, the wonderful, beautiful Postalotheria rufalata. And over here, Saving the best for last. I don't know how I got this this lucky. We have a Postlotheria ornata. All right, and that would conclude part one of this video. And we'll be back in just a second while we take them out of the containers and check on their condition. Now we are back. I personally, I like to do things a little differently than you might have seen others do it on YouTube. I like to actually take the spiders, check their size and condition, and then I go from there to see what the appropriate enclosure is going to be. I know it seems like a lot of extra steps and it might take a hair longer, but I very rarely make a cage that I don't need. So we're going to start with a Firmitica species. It looks to be, and this is the Dominican purple. And, oh, yeah, it's angry and adorable. Look at you. Not really that angry. Nice, good weight. Starting to show a little bit of purple on the carapace here. Let's get a good look at him. And, of course, it's going to walk right up on my hand, because why not? I don't really advocate holding tarantulas, but in this case, the tarantula insisted. So we're going to catch a couple really quick. And you can see, as long as you pretend like you're the stick, it's really not going to be that much of a problem. Okay, there we go. Back in the cup. Now, I did accidentally hold that spider. I'll admit it. But like I said, as long as you pretend like you're the stick, it's really that not that much of an issue. And moving on to our next one, we have a Pamphibidia species Flammifera. Which, uh, considering I got all these in trade for some snakes, I feel like I'm doing pretty good out of the gate already. And our Flammifera is right on top and looking wonderful. We want to move her just a little bit. Hopefully she don't want to kick any hair at us just yet. She looks like she might be a little aggravated. I will say I don't see any brown spots. That's one thing you want to look for whenever you're getting spiders shipped to you is brown spots on the uh, paper towels or whatever they have underneath it. The brown spots will indicate that your spider has a ruptured body part. Now we can see here, 
Well, look how black that abdomen is. That's kind of scary. This spider is deep in pre-molt. Look, it's also gorgeous. Sorry, my camera work is leaves a lot to be desired. I promise you as we go along, it will get better. But we're going to go ahead and just gently put this little deer right back like we found her since she was on top of her paper towel. We need to get her rehoused ASAP into something that she can molt in. And we will. And now we're going to revisit. We can see here. This is why some people don't like these opaque containers. I personally don't mind them. They're just for spiderlings anyway. But what we have here is a solid inch and a half. Salmopsius reduncus, uh, orange mouth, and now we're going to save the itchiest for last, and I know a lot of you would disagree with me because I've already done Formipticus and Pamphibedius, but we'll, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Right now we're going for the Rufalata, Love of Loves. And how are you doing? I would like to take this Rufalata out of this. Now, I know a lot of you are uncomfortable with your tarantulas, and that's okay. We all start somewhere. But really, as long as you're slow and careful, gentle and patient, I'd hate to accidentally quote, quote Dave here on this one, but Mr. Beastie is 100% correct on his ideas. This is the only part I don't like. It's more because I myself get dizzy, so I don't enjoy spinning spiders. Sorry. I got this in a spot where I'm not sure I can see what's going on. Now we're going to open it up a little bit. And we have a skinny little Rufalata. And we're going to go ahead and just walk him right. No, not that way. Well, we're we going to walk it right this way. There we go. Oh, go back, right back in. You see, we just let it walk right back into its cage. Replace the top. No fuss, no muss. Absolutely gorgeous little Rufalata. And moving on to arguably my absolute favorite species of tarantula. Here we have a Postlotheria ornata. We're going to basically do what we just did. And since they have a, it's still tucked in on top, we're going to go ahead and just use our fingers to pull it out. And I see a little bit of stuff on the paper towel. I'm not exactly thrilled about that. But when I open it up, there we go. What do we have here? Absolute gorgeous, gorgeous. She looks pretty good. Hopefully it's a she. This one is like, I'm out of my cup. I want to stay out of my cup. So what we're going to do, since it doesn't want to just walk up into the cup, is what we'll do is we'll just take a large deli cup. Easy peasy. Slap it right over. Use the lid to walk it up into the cup. And there we go. Isn't that absolutely wonderful? And that is... Our piece of Lotharia ornata. And just like that, we are already on to the last spider. And as I teased earlier, we're save the itchiest one for last. And I've been doing this for a long, long time. And anybody who's done this for a while will tell you that Brocky Pelma hair, as though it starts out not that bad, it is usually the one that people become the most sensitive to. 
and I am no exception to that. And oh my, what do we have here? Let's hope she doesn't kick any hair at us. Since we know the Brachypelma bonies are notorious hair kickers. Now, I'm not going to be too upset. I did trade a bunch of adult snakes for this, and I was told that this was an adult female, which it is. You can see by the size of my hand and the size of the spider, this is like a half adult female. <laughs> I would still classify this as juvenile to sub adult personally, but we're not going to be too mad about it. She is absolutely gorgeous, and we will grow her up and eventually. Hopefully get an egg sack out of her. I can say the same about everything we got today. All right, so that would be our first video. Um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. More to come. And I promise that this is going to get much, much better as we go along. Have a wonderful day.